Good morning. Today I'm going to take you guys through, it's just going to be kind of like a get stuff done with me, hang out with me kind of day. We're going to be focusing more heavily on the outdoor garden things, um, spring preparation. Where we are, it is sunny today. It has been sunny most days this week. Lowe's just delivered my garden fencing. So anyways, I, we'll, we're going to get to all of that. We're going to do some seed starts, just lots of things going on. I'm going to show you guys what's just all the things, okay? We're going to go through all the things. But I just wanted to open this with my voice and face because I usually do voiceovers for these kind of videos and I want to kind of mix it up. Um, <laughs> move my onions out of the way. I am going to sort and organize my seeds so that I can make my planting of plans. This is what I am using to sort and organize my seeds. Um, I've seen a lot of people discuss this. I do want to say, if you are like interested in starting seeds, gardening, any of that kind of stuff, my two favorite channels to watch for all things gardening type stuff um, is Roots and Refuge and Garden Answer. Those are kind of my go-tos. And um, Roots and Refuge has a great video that I just re-watched again about seed starting. I'm gonna use these little individual things. These are meant for photos, but to put the different seed packets in of like, you know, broccoli seeds or whatever, and then they get organized into here. And then I can use my, you guessed it, Cricut to add labels to these. Um, and then I'm gonna get everything set up to start some seeds today. I ordered a few things online just in preparation. I got a seedling heat mat. But first, let us move this out of the way. Here's my different seed types that I have. I'm gonna organize them by type and we'll go from there. I kind of have made my list, I've sorted my seeds, and I've made my list of what I want to do seed starts and what needs to do seed starts and what I um, want to direct. So I do have um, some plants coming from various orders that are already started from like Proven Winners and um, Eden Brothers and all of that, you know, I've got some other things coming. But these are the ones that I want to get started. So this is the current condition of my garden. Not good, um, but we're gonna be replacing these raised beds. These turned out to be, um, well, basically a piece of crap, in case you can't tell. And then we're replacing this fencing. So the fencing was delivered. So this is the fencing that was just delivered. I just feel like it'll be easier to stain them now and then put them together 
Maybe that's the wrong order. I don't know, but I just feel like it's such a pain in the butt. I don't know. We'll see. But these are the fencing and the posts to get up for the garden. The sun is shining directly onto my seed table right now, so I'm gonna wait a little bit. Good morning. I do not remember where I left off the last little bit that I filmed, or even if I'll include it in this, because maybe it just won't make any sense. But today, there's much to do, much to tackle. Um, already, it's the morning still, but it's been a busy morning already. Two kids had to go to the dentist. My 13 year old had to go. Our dentist happens to be just right next door to our orthodontist and she has the Invisalign. And so her bottom tray was like cutting her gums. So he we just walked next door and the dentist was like, yeah, I can squeeze her in to, to try to like shave this down and, and make it fit more comfortably. Oh, woo, sorry. Um, so anyways, that's going on. I just got a call because the um, a semi truck is about to arrive here. Is that it right there? No. Um, a semi truck is about to arrive here delivering uh, our turf. So we are building like a playground for the kids in the backyard and we're going to put turf back there. So that's being delivered on a giant semi truck. I thought I was going to hold this, but my arms are so sore from all the yard work that I am not going to hold this. We're going to sit right back down. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so a semi truck is on the way to deliver turf. So I need to go get the tractor. The pallet forks are already on it because apparently they called yesterday to let me know that the delivery person does not in fact actually remove the turf from the truck for you. You have to do it yourself. And I'm like, what if you, lots of people use this like in their yards, you know, if they have like a small yard, they'll do turf in the front or back or whatever so that it always looks nice and green. Like the average person doesn't have a tractor to remove turf from a truck with. I just found it odd. I just found it odd, but I'm like, no, that's fine. I'll get the tractor ready. So. <clears throat> I hope I'll be able to easily get this stuff off with the tractor. Um, I am finally doing my seed starts today. There's some of them I wish I would have done a little bit sooner, but better, honestly, to be a little bit late with them than sooner because then they're ready to go out, but the weather's not ready for them to go out. So got to do that. And then starting the garden stuff, I will show you guys my um, mapping out the 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 redo of my garden over here where we're putting up real fencing. We're switching out for some metal beds that we already have. Um, <clears throat> my husband's building me a couple of beds. So I've just been planning this, mapping it out, what it's all gonna look like. Um, I have almost all of the materials so I can get started on a lot of it. Also, I also have to run a couple of errands and um, that can end up distracting me big time. So I just need to get started, but I need to get going. Much to do, let us begin. got my list that I made here the other day with y'all of what I'm going to be, where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go, what I'm going to be doing as seed starts and what I'm, some of what I'm going to be direct sowing. Some of them I'm going to start in with these small cells, but some of them Particularly like my tomatoes and stuff, I'm gonna start in these bigger pots. I'll go ahead and do that because they'll they'll need to be in those. Tomatoes can't stay in these. So uh, just FYI, if you have been watching my channel, I don't even need to say this, but if you are new here, let me just make sure I'm super clear. I am a second year gardener. I am not here to tell you how to do things. I probably will do some things wrong, make mistakes, I'm not giving y'all advice or telling you what to do. Uh, the two channels that I go to most often uh, for help with gardening stuff is Roots and Refuge, Jess over at Roots and Refuge, um, and Garden Answer. Those are my uh, two favorite channels and who I kind of watch. And they do things differently, so it's kind of cool to see how you can do something in a completely different way from someone else and it still works out. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's kind of what I like about gardening is it's not a precise science like baking. Anyways, so 
Um, I'll leave both of their channels linked down below if you guys want to check them out. But I'm going to start on some of these seeds. I might have to go to Walmart and do my Walmart order pickup first because I got some vermiculite. But I guess I could put that on after. Or, I don't know. Alright, so I'm going to mix the seed starter with some biotone um, in my little tray here and then uh, get the things. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just start. We'll just start. I need to go find a Sharpie so I can label these. It's weird because when I'm filming something, I feel like I have to do things in like a logical order and show you guys. If I wasn't filming this, I would just be bopping around like a chicken with my head cut off doing different things, moving things. Oh, I forgot this, going to grab stuff. It doesn't really matter. When I'm filming it, I feel like I need to like do it in a logical order, which is really hard for me. So, let's go. Got lots of help around me but I went ahead and labeled the cells before I put stuff in them so for this tray I'm doing basil thyme mint lemon balm parsley chamomile hot peppers lavender and aster Ooh, I need something else here because I don't need that many hot peppers so let me add one more thing but all, pretty much all of these are just putting two seeds per cell and then putting the dirt back over them and then per Garden Answers advice, I will be adding a little bit more vermiculite over the top and then we'll be moving them uh, to the shelf for, for germination, warmth and germination. So I'm going to put this tray, now that this one's done, I'm going to set it to the side and I'm just going to fill up my cups 
and do my tomatoes. I've got a few different types of tomatoes that I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna do paste tomatoes. Um, these are classic beefsteak tomatoes. Uh, Bonnie Best tomatoes, spoon tomatoes, um, and I think that's it. Did I already do the bell peppers? Oh boy, did I use the wrong thing? No, I was paying attention. I was paying attention. Hot pepper. Or did I just set it back over here? Not sure what I did there. Um, it's going to take me a second to figure that out. I'm going to move this to the side, then do the tomatoes, um, and then I'll take everything outside to water it and then get it set up in its little spot. I'm ready to be the man that you want me to. Oh, you want me to. Sets high. Yell out your name, I'm going out of my mind. I'm chasing down every cable car. Susan, please don't go too far. But then I hear that train whistle blow. We'll start moving in the doors they close. I miss my chance to get you back. But I looked up, saw you standing there. Said Susanna, won't you marry me? And I'll fight, I'll fight for you. Cause I'm ready to be the man that you want me to. Oh, you want me to. Falling up to the beat of your heart Like a white rain sails from a startled trail Our eyes met and then landed so well Like a shell on a beach Waiting for your reach Falling up to the mountain to climb You came reassuring Mother Nature's procuring There's no need for doubt in this life You came reassuring Mother Nature's procuring There's no need for doubt in this mind And our eyes are lying like the sun through the pines in a silent space in a cup full of time in these holy ways in this disorder. Just thought I'd show you guys. So this is the giant roll of turf. Um, this is the kind that we got. I don't know if you can see that, how well you can see that. Um, it's a little longer than I thought it was going to be, but that's all right. I mean, I guess I could like Mr. Miyagi it and come out here and trim it down with scissors. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that, but I will show you kind of where we're planning on putting the kids playground. But first I have to drive down to the mailbox because some of my plants arrived today. So I need to go get them. In the middle of June, falling up to the pole of the tide. Though I've seen it before, and I've ever been told, can touch this feeling inside. You came reassuring, 
Mother Nature's procuring There's no need for doubt in his mind I don't know if you can see anything. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Not a breath. I'm going to unwrap all of these. I'm going to move them to a shady area and give them all some water and leave them in their pots for today. I'm not going to transplant them immediately. I'm going to give them a chance to zen out a bit, if you will. And once I do that, once I move them to the shady spot, unpackage them and water them, I will go through and show you what they each are. I'm very excited. I'm excited. All right, so here we have, um, these are the Madison Hardy Star Jasmine. Yeah, the Star Jasmine, hopefully. You probably cannot see that at all, but the Star Jasmine. So I have two of these, and basically everything I think you're seeing here today, these are all vining plants. I'm using these for shade in various spots and um, you know to grow up trellises and things. So we have two of those, and then this one is a Boston Ivy. So I think I'm gonna grow this one up actually the side of the cabin here. And then I have three of these. So these are purple wisteria. Actually, so are these, but a different type. Yeah, this is amethyst purple wisteria. These two are, and this is uh, sort of, I think, just regular purple wisteria. So I've got three of these, and then two of the purple amethyst, two of the star jasmine, and one of the Boston ivy. I do have some uh, bougainvillea, I believe it's called. Two bougainvilleas, those are really, really beautiful, uh, but they won't be here till April. So these, I'll show you guys eventually where I end up putting them. Uh, but these are going to be growing up over the chicken coop and some different arbors and trellises and things to provide both shade and beauty. Okay, so this is the area that we're going to be turning into the kids playground, if you will. So this side is my garden side that we're going to be redoing. And now that we have the upper garden um, for me to do cut flowers and some more vegetables and stuff like that, I was going to expand the garden over here, but I decided that I wanted to make this the kids play area. So I'm going to be moving some of these little plants here and stuff, but then we're going to be putting, gosh, the soil is really sinking over there, putting turf basically in this. It's kind of like a 20 by 25 area. And then we have a play set and a play house, and we're going to do like a little rock pit and stuff. And I'm going to do a slide off the back because this is like a brick wall that's pretty elevated not not crazy high but enough that we could do a fun little slide off the back so this is going to be like the new kids play area i think they will really love it i think that's going to be it for me today i am a bit tired <laughs> carrying those trees they were they were heavier than they looked in those pots i still have so much more to do but i'm gonna my back is hurting so i'm gonna be done for today but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, prepping for the garden with me and getting our spring seeds started and all that. I'm so excited. It's getting warm, sun is out, things are growing. I'm just so excited. I can't wait to show you all the upper garden too. We didn't obviously get to that in this video, but in future videos, I will be sharing with you guys that as I prep that garden space and start planting flowers up there and food and uh, pumpkins and uh, what else? watermelons and then on the other side we're going to begin the orchard very exciting times exciting times thanks you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys again very soon